What's going on guys? Welcome to Fearless Friday. Now, the number one problem I see with guys when I take them out is that they don't know what to say to women or they're very afraid to approach them because they don't know what to say. And so in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to get a girl open, but also I'm gonna give you guys tips and tricks if you stay to the end that'll get a girl to open to you right away and want to talk to you. Now, I've been practicing this trick all day today and I've talked to at least six or seven girls in the stores, in the grocery stores alone, just by practicing this trick. So if you stay to the end, I'll give you guys a trick and I want you guys to go out there and practice it. And in the comments, let us know how it's been working for you, okay? Now, before we jump into all that, let's talk about the problem here because this is a big issue with guys. What do I say? What do I say? A lot of guys don't like the idea of walking up and not having something prepared to say. It's very nerve wracking. There's too many variables, right? And when there's too many variables, almost anything can go wrong, right? And that's a very negative way to look at it, but a lot of guys do have that outlook. I used to have that outlook too. Wasn't until I started doing the work and getting better at approaching that I started to actually enjoy going into interactions unprepared because that's actually where all the magic happens when you don't have something pre-planned to say. You get the most genuine version of yourself. So. In this video, I really want to harp on little things that will make women open up to you that'll make it a lot easier for you to have a great conversation with a girl. So before we jump into the meat and potatoes here, if you're new to the channel, welcome. We're a dating company. We help you guys get more solid with women. I was a nice guy at some point and I did a lot of work with Fearless and it changed my dating life around. And so I just want to pay it forward and give you guys the same opportunity to grow. So if you're new to the channel, Hit like and subscribe so you can get the updates that we send out uh, throughout the week because we're always putting content out. New videos coming out from Brian, new videos coming out from me, live Q&As. We have models on the channel. We have other dating coaches too. So um, try not to miss a video. Check out all of our videos, man. It'll grow you a lot faster than you think it would. All right. Now on to the meat and potatoes here. Now this is the trick. This is a little tip I'm going to give you guys, right? And it might sound very oversimplified but it works dramatically, has a great effect on women. Give compliments freely. Freely is the key word here. Indifference to outcome, just give, okay? Now you guys might be like, well, I heard you're not supposed to give girls compliment because they get so many of them already and they don't receive them because guys are constantly giving them, giving them compliments all day. Not the compliments they care about, not the compliments that actually land, not the compliments they want, Right. They're probably catcalling. They're probably doing things that are not coming from a grounded nature. When I go out and I give a girl a compliment, I'm enjoying the tension of it. I'm giving the compliment. I'm standing in the tension of it. I'm making sure she heard what I said. I'm not running away from the tension of it and I'm enjoying it so I can receive back what she has to say about that. I'm not looking for a response, but when you do it like that, you get responses back from women. And you'll get a much larger percent of them to respond when you show up in the tension and you start to enjoy just the giving nature of it. Not giving and running, not, not giving a compliment and then trying to get the hell out of there. No, give the compliment and hang out for a bit. Right? Give the compliment like, yo, I like your sweater. Right? Let her hear, let her receive it, let her say what she has to say, and then keep the conversation going. And if you stay to the end of this video, I, I've got a great video that pairs really well with this to help you guys keep the conversation going once you've got a girl open. Now, I was in the store today, and I do this very unconsciously now because I learned to over time. And I saw a girl, she had a nice sweater on. It was a floral sweater, very floral. She had a backpack that was also floral. And so I was like, I like your sweater. And she was like, oh, thank you. She put her hand over her mouth, started giggling. Kind of like Japanese, you know, girls, ah, but she wasn't Japanese, she was totally not. <laughs> but I was like, I like how you match it with your backpack. And I was like, you're in the fashion. And she was like, no, no, I just like these little floral, these little floral tidbits. And I was like, okay, I like it. I get it. It's really old fashioned. She was like, yeah, yeah, that's all. I love it. So she just kept yapping and talking for a little bit. I let her go. And then I ran into this other girl. She had these nice bands on and they had like this tie dye pattern on them. And I was like, I like your bands. And she was like, oh my God, thank you. She's like, I bought these and I have a matching pair with my daughter. And so right off the bat, I was like, Oh yeah. I was like, you have kids. I was like, how, how old is your daughter? And she was like, Oh, my daughter's like three years old. I've got another seven year old. and I got a 13 year old. I was like, Oh, you're mommy, mommy. She's like, yeah, I'm a full-time mom. And she just couldn't stop talking about her kids. 
And so I thought that was pretty awesome, right? I got her opened up and she was just chatting, just chatting. So I let her go. Saw some other girl down the aisle. She had a cool little shirt on. I told her I liked her shirt. The shirt, it was a NASA shirt. And I've got a bunch of NASA shirts at home. And so I was like, I like your NASA shirt. She was like, oh, thank you. She was like, oh, my boyfriend's dad works at JPL. And I was like, oh, that's pretty interesting. I was like, okay, so you're into that stuff. She's like, yeah, I love that stuff. We went down there, we did a tour, it was awesome. And these things were very easy to get them open, right? It was just like giving a little compliments on things that I actually noticed. So again, this is the trick. You guys gotta go out and, and find your genuine curiosity about women. Be attentive. Notice what she's wearing, right? Notice the earrings, notice the hairstyle, right? Notice the eyelashes, maybe notice the shirt, the pants, the shoes, the attire. And give compliments on those type of things that stand out to you. Because women love compliments that they feel are actually genuine and real and not just ones guys are giving them to get into their pants because they know the difference, okay guys? So take that tip Go out there, exercise it, practice it, and put in the comments how this is working for you. Don't go out there and half-ass it. Go actually do it, right? Go out and make it an exercise. Cool, I'm gonna go out today and I wanna compliment three girls and three things I noticed about them, right? Maybe it's a hat she has on, maybe it's a ponytail, maybe it's a shirt, maybe it's a shoes. Go out and do it and don't come back and comment unless you've actually done the work. Because there's nothing worse than somebody flooding the comment section and they haven't really done the exercise and they're talking about how it actually doesn't work. And I don't believe that because I know it actually works, okay? Go and watch the video I have titled, Do This When Talking to Women and You'll Never Have to Worry About What to Say Again. That video is gonna tell you everything you need to know about how to carry those conversations once you have those women open, all right? So again, short video today, guys, but I hope I drove my point home. I will see you guys in next week's video. And remember, only the confident really live. Peace.